Hi friends, let's talk about herbs and pregnancy. It's a very happy time in your life and we need to be very mindful about what we're putting into our bodies. These herbs should not be used and be avoided during your pregnancy. Safflower. You want to make sure you stay away from safflower and scotch broom. It is also considered unsafe when breastfeeding. Mugwort. This is also on the list of avoided herbs during your pregnancy. Wormwood. This is used in parasite cleansing. This isn't something you would want to take during your pregnancy. Eucalyptus. Unfortunately, this is one that is on the avoiding list along with cotton root bark. Please be mindful of using golden seal. Golden seal also should be avoided during your pregnancy. Motherwort. Motherwort's a good herb, but unfortunately, those individuals who are pregnant should avoid that along with yarrow. Yarrow should also be avoided at all costs during your pregnancy, along with blue cohosh. Blue cohosh is also on that list. The following herbs like Cascara Sagrada um, are considered a stimulant laxative. Um, and that includes buckthorn here. And what they do is they cause intestinal muscle contractions. And we're gonna throw comfrey in this listing too. Uh, one that I did not include is aloe vera, but Cole's foot is also um, in that listing along with borage. It's going to result in a watery stool it can aggravate the stomach um, and, as I mentioned, causing contractions. So hops also would be included in that. Red clover is an herb that has estrogen-like qualities, so you'd want to stay away from that. Oregon grape, great herb, but just not to be used during pregnancy hear a lot about gold thread but it's used for digestive issues and parasite infection. Butter burr is for stomach issues, upset stomachs, but it should be avoided by pregnant women. Eyebright's actually used for nasal congestion, sinus pain, and breathing problems but should be avoided by pregnant women also. Live fruit has traditionally been used to hasten labor and reduce labor pain in childbirth but it should not be used by pregnant women. Actually, this herb isn't recommended. It's toxic and possibly has carcinogenic properties. This is just a small list of herbs that pregnant individuals should be cautious of using. Please do your own due diligence. Research anything before you consume it. Reach out to your doctor, your medical provider, or your herbalist. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Stay healthy, friends.